All right, boys, it is finally time for our first franchise series of Madden 24. 32 users in the league loaded with pro players from top to bottom, over a $4,000 prize pool. We are using the Cincinnati Bengals for the very first time. And at pick number 13, we are going with Kyle Pitts, who in my opinion, is so much better than any other player at his position. 91 speed, super young, X factor. But if you take a look here at the top of the screen, um, our commissioner forgot to change the league draft order to snake. He had it on standard, which is actually a new feature this year and the default setting. So we actually have to retire from the league, get everybody back into the league and restart the draft with a snake draft. So yeah, maybe a slight waste of time right there. Thankfully we caught it early. And I'm a little disappointed, though, because Kyle Pitts is an awesome player. But fingers crossed we get a better pick right here. And we actually do. We sneak inside the top 10 this time. We are picking at number 8. Lamar Jackson is the first one off the board. A little surprising. I think Reek makes the most sense. He goes at number 2. He gets snap picked. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson. Now we're on the clock here. And this is a tough decision. I feel like there's two very obvious players that need to be selected here. Either Jalen Waddle, who is 24 years old, 88 overall, superstar, 98 speed, or Tariq Woolen, who is so different than any other player at his position. 98 speed, 83 overall, only a star dev, which I feel like is kind of a robbery but he's 6'4 on top of it, would be the most ridiculous user ever. We could play him at safety, we could play him at corner, zone coverage, man coverage, it doesn't matter. This guy is a gadget in the secondary, and I'm going with Woolen. I, I think people might be upset with me at that, but wait till the rest of our draft, okay? You guys will start to understand here. We're picking again late in round two, and this is where the draft strategy starts to expose itself okay maybe not expose itself but reveal itself that's the better term for it i had something in the back of my head here that i don't think a lot of people will understand until they actually see the picks and with our second pick in the draft we're going with isaiah simmons six foot four young again star dev 93 speed probably the best user outside of woolen in the entire game we have two mammoths in our secondary that again can really be used anywhere corner safety user Jeremy Chin is going to be my third overall pick. I mean, what did I say about our first two picks? You can say the exact same thing for Jeremy Chin right here. Fits the build that we're looking for. We got height. We got speed for days. And of course, there is an ability shop in this league, which means we are definitely going to be utilizing that. I'll explain it later if you don't know what the ability shop is. We're taking a look here, though, at my division rivals. And I feel like our draft, although very different, is actually headed in a much better direction than them. Now we do need some offense. I'm going with the hidden dev rookie, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Not very fast, only 89 speed, but I'm actually contemplating moving him to tight end. 89 speed or slower, you can actually go ahead and do that. These are the rules right here for the position changes. I know that that's not super sim, but that's not the point of this draft. This is a league filled with the best players in the world with the biggest prize pool you guys will see all year. We're trying to win. We are trying to build the sweatiest team possible. And Justin Reed is one of my all time favorite Madden players. Nothing about him is incredible. He has great speed, good dev trait, pretty young as well. We're taking him. Kadarius Tony. We do need more offensive help here. 93 speed, young, 24 years old. Our team is so young. Like they're going to develop so, so quickly. If we're doing the right practice upgrades every single week, if we're playing well, putting up a lot of points, generating a lot of turnovers, these guys are going to develop very, very quickly. Jalen Hyatt here, the rookie wide receiver on the Giants. We're drafting him. Max Duggan is going to be our quarterback. And, uh, we kind of look the same, man. This is kind of a homer pick. Now, round nine coming up. Will Anderson is still up there. A top three pick in the NFL draft is still on the board here in a fantasy draft. A young pass rusher, a physical freak, six foot four. He's fast. We get Thibodeau to line up across from him on our defensive line. And we secure it here with Ed Oliver at D tackle. Isaiah Pacheco is going to be our running back. I think the highest acceleration of any running back. We need some offensive line here as well. We're going with Trey Smith. And then Young Way Koo is going to be our kicker with superstar abilities. I missed it. I shanked it. It went so fast. I don't know if it was good anyway. It was six mile an hour wind. 
Wow. And as you guys can tell there, I need a superstar kicker. Let's go ahead, sim through the rest of the draft, and um, this is this is not good. This is very bad. <laughs> but fortunately, it was just a false alarm, even though everybody got disconnected right as we sim the draft. Now, we're doing some free agent bids. I'm going to put these screenshots up very quickly. I bid a lot of money on two very fast corners that never popped up during the draft. Some absolute gems. Kalen Barnes here is a, I believe, one-year veteran. He's 96 speed at corner, still super young. Amir Speed is a rookie out of Michigan State. 95 speed, six foot three, super young. We spend a lot of money on these guys. We bolster our secondary, but we're not quite done. I'm actually gonna make a blockbuster trade for one of the best corners in the game, a round two pick. DJ Turner, the rookie corner, is 97 speed. We're actually going to go ahead, trade away 94 speed. Velas Jones, wide receiver. And then we're also going to buy our opponent. Well, not our opponent, but another player in the league's quarterback upgrade, which is equivalent to about $55. So I'm spending a lot of money right now. I think it was $60 a season to get in. I spent $100 something dollars on the two super fast young corners. And then I spent another $55 on a trade piece. We can do one ability shop trade a season, by the way. I can't just buy everybody's players in the league. You only do it one time. Um, but it's still quite insane if you guys judge me. All right. I don't blame you. All right. I'm spending a lot of money. We're going all out for the first CFM of the season. Let's go ahead, send this trade and pick up DJ Turner. We also get a plus one speed boost to our wide receiver, Romeo Dobbs. So I feel like we had a pretty good draft. We made an absolutely insane trade and we made two of the biggest free agent signings I have ever made in any CFM. We've spent quite a bit of money so far, and honestly, we haven't even gotten started. Now, for those of you that have watched my videos before, there's an ability shop in all of our fantasy draft CFMs. It's the reason the prize pool is so big. It's the reason the competition is so good. And it's a little difficult to explain at first. All of these upgrades are optional. All of the money you spend goes towards the prize pool. And like I said, people literally spend hundreds of dollars on their team. And for our inaugural Madden 24 CFM, I feel like we should go all out, spend literally every possible dollar and have a chance to play for it all back. But of course, it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments below what upgrades we should make. The only one I've made so far is Max Duggan. I need my quarterback to have abilities. You guys can see here, we gave him the X factor. He goes up to a 90 overall with the $55 upgrade. Escape Artist here, X Factor, Hot Rod Master, Dashing Dead Eye, Gunslinger, Pass Lead Elite, and Fearless. And you know, I'll put a little notice out there. Yes, I know that this can be ridiculous. I know this is a lot of money to spend on a team, but I will be starting a reg CFM as well with no ability shop. So we'll have a bit of a balance. Not all of my leagues are gonna be like this. But I say, why not have some fun, man? The offense is decent. Tony, Hyatt, and Dobbs, all 93 speed. We're moving JSN. I think he's a superstar, hidden dev superstar to tight end. He's 89 speed, so a little bit slower there. On defense, a lot of upgrades can be made here. We have the unicorns, man. We have Isaiah Simmons. They're all tall. They're all incredibly fast, agile. They just need the dev traits. They need the abilities to really take them to the next level. And again, we can easily do that through the ability shop. So one more time, let me know in the comments below what upgrades we should make. Now, Brown's roster here, Israel, Ob okay, man. <laughs> my pronunciation, definitely the weakest part of my YouTube game. Everybody who watches me knows that. And this is just wrong. It's wrong to test me like this in the very first episode. This is insane. I have no idea. 95 speed though, 90 change of direction, 99 awareness, break tackle at 93, 88 trucking. Oh my goodness. Sauce Gardner here at corner, 93 speed, six foot three, Joey Bosa off the edge, big Q, BJ Ojalari, Buddha Baker, Anthony Richardson is the quarterback with 94 speed, Reggie Robinson, Bo Melton with abilities, Riley Moss, got to be one of the only white corners I've ever seen. I, I think the last one was maybe Seahorn on the Giants like two decades ago. Maybe 
Actually, no, it probably was 20 years ago. Calais Campbell here, though. Spencer Brown, Asante Samuel Jr. So you guys can tell with all the abilities he has, with all these upgrades, he's already spent a ton of money in the ability shop. And how can you blame him? He wants to beat me in week one. I don't really have any abilities outside of my quarterback, but I still like our chances. All right, Max Duggan is going to be leading the squad for us here. The game feels super smooth on PlayStation. I won't lie. Like, it actually feels way better than Xbox. Like, way faster paced. I've also been playing Madden Ultimate Team where I don't have Gunslinger and Set Feet Lead on my quarterback. So, this is going to be a bit of a learning curve for me. The game feels really fast. It's bizarre. All right. It looks like man coverage here from the opponent. Rookie with a nice catch up to the 35. What a dot from Max. All right, we're breaking out the bag of tricks early. We're going speed up. Okay, that play is getting thrown in the trash. It will never, ever be brought out again. Oh my god, what a start to the season. I tried to pitch it to my running back and then it hits his lineman in the face. Gets cr gets cribbed on top. I mean, come on, man. What? Tony. Tony up the sideline. Nice pass. Three for three to start. You know, we'll just ignore that fumble. We'll just pretend like it never happened. So this guy's actually running a lot of match coverage. Now, I haven't really played enough Madden 24, honestly, to have enough match beating combinations here. But we'll give it our best shot. Ooh, that's a tough catch, Pacheco. I need you to make it, though, kid. All right, we'll give Pacheco a little bit of redemption here. I always got to make sure my mic isn't on, so I'm, like, not giving away. Okay, where did he come from? How did he even get in my backfield like that? I'm no huddling this. I'm obviously going for it on fourth down after already being stopped. Oh, I thought we caught that. Wow. Stopped on consecutive drives. Not a good start. All right. Well, we drafted heavily defensively. We'll have to get some stops. There's the run on the first play, but we swallow him up in the backfield. He's going to no huddle it. We got to try to contain Anthony Richardson. 94 speed is going to be an absolute problem. Oh, my goodness. He's running bubble screens. Oh, my goodness. This is my worst nightmare. He's running no huddle bubble screens. He's short. He's short. Let's go, baby. Come on. Man, this guy is an RPO demon. I turned the ball over twice on my first two drives. K-Mac, we can't afford to do that, man. This guy is going to utilize the whole playbook. He's going to run a lot of bubblegum plays. It's going to be tough to stop. Well, I don't know where my safety was going on that left side. On that right side, excuse me. Damn. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't know how to stop this, dude. I don't, I don't know what am I I don't know how to stop this I tried man I tried cover two cover four he just throws a bubble screen every play oh there we go Dobbs the former Packer man come on baby let's go he finds the end zone I'm down quite a bit I'm going to be going for two, trying to get everything back. Maybe we can make up for a possession if we somehow convert every two-point conversion. The problem is I don't really have any plays. I'm just kind of praying to God here. That's a dot. That's a... That was not a dot, I guess. I don't know. Brevin Jordan, I don't even know how he snuck his way onto the field. But, uh, okay. All right, let's go get a stop on, on defense, man. Bro, this is so cool. This is actually just like breaking the game. I don't know what to do.
What a hit. Was that Wollin? Would have liked a pick there, but good defense. I'm, I'm going to be honest, boys. I'm a little flustered right now. I mean, this is, this is truly bizarre. I've never played an offense like this in my life. Go get him. Go get him. Good defense. There we go. Just get stingy here, man. I, I think this baseline cover two is doing a good job. If I somehow keep my composure this game, man, it'll be a miracle because this is this is insane. I'm cover three in this left side, vert hooking so he can't quick see me, and I just watched the scene myself. That's a pick. Hodges Tomlinson out of TCU. We get some sort of achievement I don't care about because I'm losing the game. Get off my screen. Great defense, baby. We're starting to figure him out a bit. Duggan is looking so good, and so is our rookie. And so is our rookie, Jackson Smith and Jigba. It looks like a masterful move, moving him to tight end. He is playing so, so incredible well. So, so incre incre <laughs> incredibly well for us. There you go. I, I finally got it. Now, I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm going to chase points, all right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chase points. I'm going to the exact same play we dropped the pass on earlier. He's going to send a four-man rush. Max Duggan is pretty quick. Max Duggan is pretty quick, but not quick enough. <laughs> I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off there in the pocket. Oh, don't do this. Don't. No, 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 no. Please don't do this. Please don't drop. Oh, no, man. All right, boys. We reset the situation. We got to try to lock up here. <laughs> Bro, these RPOs are going to give me a headache, dude. Pick, pick, pick. Speed the rookie. 6395 speed. He puts a move on him. Oh, my goodness. He's tackled to the 13. But what a defensive play. This baseline cover two is giving him fits right now. Duggan fights. Looking just like he did in college at TCU. Just taking hits, man. Being an absolute warrior on the field. And we're going to take a 19 to 14 lead here. He does have 51 seconds of all three timeouts to get points of his own. We're going to try to lock up one more time. Books, books, books. Oh, my goodness. That is... I, I can live with that read all day long. I feel like I'm almost there with my user speed. Almost got number two as well. It's a tough catch from a running back. We just have to live with that. Pick, pick. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him for throwing that. I got an illegal contact. I don't really... I mean, I guess I did. I don't know. The defense, Will Anderson, man. The number. See the number one pick this year in the draft? How did I already forget? I think he was. No, no, he wasn't. It was the quarterback. It was the quarterbacks. K Mac, what are you like, what are you talking about, dude? I'm a filthy football casual. Third and twelve though, one timeout. Again, I like our defense. I feel like we have them figured out right now. And right there, Will Anderson going crazy again now. Maybe I should have called a timeout there. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because we sack him out of field goal range. Barnes with the sack, man. Let's go, baby. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of this defense right now. This speed, my boys are flying around. I don't have to worry about giving up any bombs, any streaks. They're flying to those bubble screens now. They're flying to the running back whenever he does run. And like I said, once we actually give them better dev traits and then abilities on top of it, this defense is going to be something serious, man. I promise you. All right, every time he's gone to this, he has done the little like wheel motion RPO play. I'm going to pass commit here. I have his streak manned up, but I did not use her the right side of the field, which I should have done. Like, I ran right by him, but we make the tackle anyway. Way to hustle. Way to hustle. Oh, he 
Isaiah Simmons, 6-4, man. We're putting this RPO game to sleep right now. No other player in the game gets that. He didn't even have to jump, I don't think. I think he just stood there. Maybe every player in the game gets that. But he doesn't even have to jump for it, man. Oh, I jumped over him. <laughs> Yo, our rookie JSN making plays, toasting Sauce Gardner, toasting him, leaving him in the dirt. Pacheco, look at the acceleration, the agility, how smooth he is, man. Ooh, baby, I'm fired up right now. I feel like I drafted so well. I have my doubts early in this game. I mean, to be honest, though, I feel like it was all my fault. Like, I just didn't play that well early on. And now, my boys, the chemistry is there. They're clicking. They're looking good. I have a lot of positive hopes about these guys right here. Come on, man. That's six foot four Isaiah Simmons, baby. That's six foot four Isaiah Simmons with this second interception of the game. We're going crazy right now on defense. Oh, I'm so I I could not be happier right now. I literally could not be happier. This is the greatest thing I've ever laid my eyes on in my entire life. This defense is insane. Exactly what he does, Brevin Jordan. <laughs> I tried a little hook and lateral right there. That would have been crazy. Max Duggan looking like an early season MVP candidate, baby. Slinging the rock right now. He's loving verticals right now. And oh my God, I guess I can't blame him. What just happened right there? I covered three that left side. I guess somebody must have bumped somehow. I'll have to go back and watch that play. That was kind of wild. The right of the needle right there, Jalen Hyatt. Speaking of rookies, man, JSN, monster game from the kid. <laughs> Chinny chin chin. Speed, second interception of the game. I mean, we're making some good adjustments right now, gentlemen. We're making some great adjustments. Oh, I should have blocked somebody. Oh, I should have blocked somebody and... Aaron Robinson really nice interception there I think maybe if we're a little bit more patient that gets open it was breaking across the field he hit, we had his DB backpedaling I just rushed it no reason for me to do that well he did send pressure so there was a reason Justin Reed <laughs> yo my defense is so crazy it's so crazy Tony, Tony, keep your momentum and we find the end zone of 50 bomb in week one. Mmm, Ed Oliver with his first sack of the game. Let's go ahead. Let's be a good sport about this one. Kneel this out. 54 points in the opening game. I think we forced... Like seven interceptions there. The defense was flying. Absolutely flying all over the field. We had this guy seeing ghosts. And I imagine for everybody else we play this season, it's going to be exactly the same. 